I'm dying right now. Greetings from the road, everybody. We are in, are we in Kansas? Yeah. Or Missouri? Kansas. Guess who's with us? Say hi, Daddy. We're crossing the bridge. Everybody. Maybe not look at the look at the camera. Just look at the road. <laughs> um, we're somewhere between Kansas and Missouri. Um, we oh, stayed Mom, last night in Mom, Missouri. We're in Flat City, Kansas. Flat City, Kansas, or Missouri? Flat City, Kansas. I don't know. Uh, we are heading to do Seneca Pony Express Museum today, and Marysville Pony Express. Is that the barn? Yes. Very well as the barn. Lots of good Pony Express history today. We're super excited to be on a road trip. Merritt, what are you doing? Is your head hurt? My iPad. Oh, don't you dare watch that iPad on the floor. You'll be throwing up everywhere, child. Okay, first things first. Uh, we had our last horse show. So much fun. We had a great weekend. And we have to say hi to some people from the horse show that watched the vlogs. Who are we going to say hi to, boys? Oh, Ryder and Ray. Ryder, and who else? Um, Reagan and Reese. Reagan and Reese and Kale. And also, who else? I don't know if I told you this, but Veda watches our channel too, so say hi to Veda. Veda. Hi, Veda. And, hi, and Veda. Kingston, maybe. And Kingston, maybe. So hi to all of our horse show friends who are watching the travel vlogs. Um, lots more to come. We're going to be traveling. Today is Tuesday, and we'll be traveling until Friday. And then we'll be in Mississippi and the beach and everything else until about the 20th. So we got lots of fun vlogs coming your way. Right now we got to figure out how to get to Seneca, Missouri. <laughs> I'm sorry, we have a correction. Seneca what? Kansas. Seneca, Kansas. We might find it. <laughs> also, before I forget this little tidbit. So we're walking through the parking lot today putting everything in the truck and everything. Oh, I had gotten, let me show y'all this little cute top from Walmart. I mean, this is the autumn's dream, y'all. It's kind of fun little like hem here and a little bit of a kind of a ruffle sleeve on it. Um, we just had to go get Merit some Dramamine last night, so I picked it up. Uh, I'm sure it's like new for fall, I guess. And anyway, I loved this color. This color right here, this chartreuse liney green. So there's a car in the parking lot this exact same color and my daddy goes what did you even say what did you say the ugliest car I ever <laughs> he goes well if that isn't the ugliest car i've ever seen look at that color Bleh. and i'm like it is the exact shade of my shirt he <laughs> looks over and looks over and looks it over was. it was it was it too was. It was Oh my god, oh, it wasn't pretty like my shirt. Now he's trying to make up for it. <laughs> wow. We made it, and it is the cutest little town. And the roads are brick. I love that. Nice touch. So, this is the little museum. I'm gonna go in and check it out, and then we have another museum to see. It's a little further down the road. What does it say? Does he? What does this say? Pony Express Museum. Look how cute this town is. Be still my heart. So here's inside. Y'all know we go love a good covered wagon. Oh good, thank you. <laughs> oh boys, y'all come see what's back here. All the stuff in the covered wagon. Lodge pole TP over here. We're gonna go this way first. Sorry, I probably just made y'all dizzy. That way, Quasi wants to go this way first. This way, this way. Here's all about the covered wagon. Ooh, what are these, Koi? Ooh, 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 a bunch of arrowheads too. They have like a little um, replica of the Russell Majors and Waddell. Um, oh, Whoopi's got that picture. Daddy, don't you have that picture? Oh, well, maybe not. That's a Remington, though. Um, of, like, where they signed everything and decided to start the Pony Express, which only lasted 18 months. Fun fact. Isn't that crazy? It's, like, such a popular piece of our U.S. history, and it only lasted 18 months. <laughs> oh, boy. Koi's going to the saloon. Oh, 
What's in there? Don't let those doors hit you. <laughs> so they go back and forth. <laughs> Come on out of there, Merritt. Whoosh! I want some of those in our house. I think that'd be so cute. Maybe you gotta go out through them, Merritt, and then they swing back. There's probably too many little children like y'all have played with them. Oh my gosh, here what we go. Do you need, uh, <laughs> Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. What are you gonna have? A Roy Rogers. Oh, look at those cups. Are those like famous people on them? A whiskey. Goodness. Child. Look, that one says Dodge City. Chisholm Trail. How many years do you have, Koi? A ton. That's how many. Merritt's calling us back here. Oh, this would have been the stable. <gasps> Oh my gosh, they said here in Seneca it was a home station. So they had home stations and what were the other ones called, Daddy? Satellite stations? Where they just changed horses, right? Daddy, is that what they were called? Satellite stations? Home stations and home what stations. and what were the other ones called though? Home stations and uh... I can't remember. We'll have to go look. Anyway, this one was a home station, which meant they slept here, but they slept in the hotel, which is called the Smith Hotel. And then they would have had, um, obviously, stables, too, for all of the horses. But this would have been a big stop at one of the bigger stations. Oh, look at that. That was my house so bad. I need to start antiquing again. That's what the cow is, bro. McCoy, that little boy looks like you back there. I've got one out there. You don't think he looks like you? I don't know. They're calling me in here. What is it? Oh boy, I love it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I love this. It tells you all the different trails. Give me all your money right now. How are you gonna get across those bars, though? What do you think they would have done? I guess the bullet could have got across there, huh? They said this was the original teller window at the First Bank in Baileyville, Kansas, which I have no idea where that is. Oh my gosh, hang just a minute. There were that many stations? Yeah. Where's right. this one? I guess if they had one over 15 miles, I guess they had to have been Seneca, Kansas, uh, 160. Seneca, 160. So we are, oh gosh, we are real, oh, I'm not even showing you, we're here. And then it went all the way to San Francisco. But isn't isn't there just a few left in the world now? Is this yeah, Missouri? There's not many left. We've after this trip, I think we will have seen like most of them. Left. I don't know. We'll Google it. He might know. The guy might know. I don't even think there's a hundred merit, honestly. And and to be to be fair. To be fair, guys, this isn't this isn't first. actually where the where the station was. Huh? This isn't the actual station. There's not many actual stations left, but we've been to one of them, Gothenburg. Like, like this is just like a museum. This isn't. There a station was in this town. I guess I could look at y'all. <laughs> a station wasn't was in this town. The home station was in this town, but like this is just the museum about it. It's not the actual station because. They were built like so crudely and so quickly, like they didn't last the test of time, but we have been to one in Gothenburg. It was the actual station, it was really cool. Anyway, there's a podcast, y'all. I feel like we have to listen to that later. I gotta figure out how to put the Bluetooth to daddy's truck so that we can like do um, my maps, like map, whatever, like my Google Maps, iPhone maps or whatever, and then like listen to podcasts because we love to do that, y'all know. Oh my gosh, McCoy. Are you sure that's well, correct? Well, when, well, when you the original door to this really jail sketchy. and is the oldest cowboy jail. What's a cowboy jail? Just like a small jail like this? Yes. The oldest. Oh, can you go in there? It's so dark. What does it look like? Ooh. That's creepy. I wonder where it came from, though. Does it say where it came from? Y'all want to be in cowboy jail? I want to bun warmer. I love all this antique stuff so much. That table. Oh my gosh, I love it. Look at this brick road I'm just walking across. I better watch for traffic, but I love it. I feel like these people know we're tourists. Um, also, they didn't have a magnet, but I got a, um, what's the other thing I collect? Ornament. Okay, we're going to look here at this marker. All right, so this is the marker, and this is, this building is not the actual building this is where the smith hotel would have been which was the home station for the cowboys to sleep and so it says this is the actual place if mccoy will move 
that the home station stood. That's so cool. I guess this, this building is actually really old too, so I guess it was built um, after the Smith Hotel was torn down or burned down or I don't know what happened to it, but very cool. Okay, I think they found another marker over there, but this tells the story about the Smith Hotel, which was the home station where they slept and everything. Um, and it says that this brick building that is here what are y'all like Haley? This is too much information. This was built around the original hotel and it just sort of built upon it, so it never really got torn down. But then it got moved, the original hotel got moved to like over here somewhere. I don't know, there's a lot of history to it, but this still is part of the original thing, so we love it. All right, let's see what this is. Look how cute this little town is. I can't even handle it. What does this say, boys, about the Seneca station? Oh, this is the marker for the Smith Hotel, which was the home station. Say anything on the back of it? <gasps> I love it. Koi's got a necklace. Let me see, Koi. It's red, and Merrick got one too. Oh, it's good. brown. I love it. All right, let's get a photo. You know the drill. Everybody get behind it. Daddy, take your glasses off. I love it. <laughs> All right, we came in here to find a magnet. They didn't have any. But look what McCourt Merritt found, an old school, like, um, ball machine. Oh, I love pinball. those. Light up pinball. And it's like rodeo. Oh, man, I wish it worked. That's so cool. <laughs> Y'all look at these little things. Coy, I'm not sure it's going to go. <laughs> I'm dying right now. I know we already saw it. Is it fun, Merritt? Do you love it? It's going to kill me. That's cool. I can't believe it's even going. I figured y'all be too heavy. <laughs> I mean, this store is like a little Hobby Lobby. I don't, who knew? I didn't even... I mean, we just came in here for a magnet. That's super cute, especially with my colors. How fun. It's like a little hidden gem in the middle of Kansas. I mean, I told y'all this town was adorable. It's got toys and... What else? You Hey, Mary, do you like that ride? Oh my gosh, what do you think they found? A gun, of course. What does it do? You Bullet. put bullets down there? Oh my. Do we need anything for the pool? No, we're not buying guns. Do they got squishmallows? I will buy those. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's got like everything Melissa and Doug ever made ever in this store. Like it this goes, is only oh, 11. <gasps> Christmas, it's what? Christmas. I love these. I don't know. I love these things that like light up and then they do the um. Not, why am I not trying to say sprinkles? Um, what are they called? Glitter. This is so fun. I'm so ready for Christmas, y'all. I could have stayed in that little town all day. It was precious, but it is hot. It is 93 and it's just getting hotter, and I'm not prepared for this. So here we go. Um, also. The other stations, so if we were at a home station area, town, the other stations are called relay stations. So that's where they wouldn't have slept. They would have just like gotten another horse or switched riders and switched the mail or whatever and like relayed. Um, but the home stations is where they slept. I hope I'm explaining that right. Are we having fun so far, boys? Yeah. We'll be, are we having fun so far? Hilarious. Huh? Oh, we gotta show you what we got. Hang on. Okay, so I didn't, I didn't mean to cut it off. Oh, I just was turning it down. Merritt wanted a bookmark, so we got him a little bookmark. <laughs> with a stamp, um, kind of like, I don't know, whatever you call it. Contact paper in or whatever. And then the little, um, oh, we should have sent Mama one of these. Wouldn't she have loved that? <laughs> I have to tell you all the story, this postcard. Oh, uh, so this is, uh... They were just free, so I got a couple for the boys to put in the rooms. One time we went on a trip. What trip was that, Daddy? Oh, gosh, sorry. Um, we had gone all the way across from Iowa to Lake Jackson Hole and done a million things, like so many things. And I don't know, her Mama, she did, she didn't want us to go, or she, not that she didn't want us to go, but like she was, she wanted to be on the trip. I don't remember what the deal was, but she was not happy with us. And so I decided I was going to send her a postcard from every place that we went to. And I mean, there was like 30 postcards. <laughs> and it would be like the most obscure thing. We'd be like at a gas station. And oh, I'd be like, let's get, a let's get a postcard from this gas station. And then I'd send it oh, to her. I feel, like it's, I feel like you had even gotten back home. And the postcard was still coming in the mail. <laughs> it was 
funny. Mom, you have to let us know if you still have all those postcards. Anyway, um, what else? Oh, we got a little book. Hang on. Okay, so then I kind of got this for myself and for the boys too, but it's um, a Pony Express educational activity book. It honestly kind of looks like a junior ranger um, book, but it's just got all the information on all the stations and just kind of fun little activities. I just thought we could kind of look through it and talk um, talk about it and look through it as we went on this little Pony Express tour through Kansas. So we picked that up. It was just four bucks. So I thought that was cute. And then we did get an ornament for our travel tree and like I said they didn't have a magnet which is so sad I hate that um it's just got all the Pony Express like details kind of engraved on the back and then it's got the rider here we go can you do it oh yeah it's got the rider and then it says the Smith Hotel and then it says Seneca Kansas so love that and that is what we got for our first stop all right, y'all. Newsflash: If you ever come to where Marysville, Kansas, now Look, they have not, keep going, Daddy, till no Sixth Street. They have these black squirrels for whatever reason. I have no idea. And there's black squirrel statues everywhere, and they like match the theme of whatever the company is. Like, what you called just saw one that was all like Mexican embroidered things. Fifth Street, Daddy. Buy a Mexican restaurant. This is it, Daddy. Oh, what? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, this is good. Um, anyway, I'm gonna try to show them to you. Turn left onto Center Street. They're so stinking cute. What is that one? Okay, here's one right here. Oh, well, it's like American flag one. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Oh, there's one over there. Yeah, there's one what there. is that one over there? A gas station one? Not the dinosaur. It's still got flowers or something on it. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with these. Wow. And now we found the Pony Express statue. We, got, we, got we will be stopping we to take our picture by that. There's a squirrel. Squirrel spotting. Where, Merritt? Oh, Merritt found another one. I can't get it though, Merritt. <gasps> I missed it. Okay, so Daddy tells me that apparently that this town is known for these black squirrels and there's a whole park where you can go watch these black squirrel squirrels. Oh, there, there is a pool over there. Um, and then there, I guess you can see the black squirrels. So all of the companies, I guess like that's their claim to fame, these black squirrels. Although, wouldn't you think the Pony Express would be their claim to fame? Because every business is called Pony Express something, something, something. But there's also black squirrels. I have no idea. <laughs> okay, like I said, we're in Marysville. This is the original, yeah. Home state, well, that's disputed. The place we were just at says they were the original home station anyway. It's a dispute, like all history, but this is the actual barn still standing here where they would have housed some of the Pony Express horses. Somebody is walking up over there. Oh my goodness. What does all this say? Original barn. This is so cool. Let's take a picture. There should be a cowboy black squirrel sitting there. What are they thinking? Maybe there is one. We gotta find it. Okay. These are the original members. Original board members, Marysville, Kansas. Kansas, I can't talk today, oh my goodness. All right, let's get a photo. Okay, we're kind of walking around the outside now. Is this how we get in? This is all original, I'm assuming, yes. That is crazy. I guess this survived because it was all these big old stones. Everything else was wooden. A stamp! Oh, I gotta go back, Daddy. I gotta have the keys. I gotta get our stamp books. Oh my gosh, they're in love. We are. We just got here. We're gonna go watch the movie. Yes, we're gonna watch the movie and then come back and look at everything. All right, we're gonna go watch the movie and then we. What's in there? This yellow one has a. It looks like Goldie. It has like a. And that is a black squirrel. <laughs> we watched the video. Oh, y'all know I love books. We gotta look at this later. <gasps> I have that one, but we lost it. Craig was reading it now. I can't find it back. Um. Okay, back to this. They're gonna play a little bit. Cut to, we are having a late lunch. Um, I'll explain to you later about the museum, but right now we are at the oh, wagon yeah. wheel. Can I tell you something? Can I tell We're, you something? Quit. We are at the wagon. At, at the museum. We're going to talk about it later. <laughs> We're at the wagon wheel in Marysville, and they have Diet Dr. Pepper, so my day is fabulous. Okay. I meant Diet Dr. Pepper. All right, I got the amazing Cobb salad. Boys got burgers and mashed potatoes. Merritt says they're delicious. Is it good? Daddy got 
chicken fried, no, country fried steak. A salad. I mean, I guess Kansas just has the market covered on cute little towns. Ah, Marysville is just precious, y'all. We're gonna go over here and take our picture, of course, with the Pony Express statue, and then find a little park, I think. Here's the good shot. Line up and let's get it. <laughs> Bless their hearts. The two explorers had to take a closer look. Merritt and I are gonna go over here and look at the murals. Merritt says it's like 3D. Oh, it is kind of 3D. Like you walk and then you see something different and you get in front of it and you see something different. Oh, that's cool. Very cool, Amish trail. Okay, we made it to the trails park. We're gonna go over and look at all the stuff over there. I think it's like a ferry and stuff they can sort of play on. We're still in Marysville. Okay, so this is basically telling us that this is the site where, this is just like a replica of the ferry where they would have taken the covered wagons and stuff across this river, which was the Big Blue River or Blue Earth, um, where they would have taken the covered wagons or livestock or whatever across safely to get back on the trail, which I feel like this is a spot, I feel like Oregon Trail, Pony Express, what world were they? California and Mormon Trail all came through here, like where they all just sort of like converged before they split off into their perspective areas wherever they were going, but there's some more stuff up here we're gonna go read and then the boys are over here driving the ferry. Is it hard to drive? You gotta have the rope, don't you? Where's the rope? Down here? Oh boy. <laughs> so this says that the Pony Express riders would have used it too, I guess, to get across. They just hopped on and a rope crossed the river above the ferry which rode a pulley back and forth by turning the wheel Another rope would shift the ferry into or away from the swift river current, and then it got them across. Isn't that clever? All right, there's more than I thought. Alcove Spring is near here. St. Joe Road, the Mormon Trail, Military Road, Fort Leavenworth, y'all, and to Fort Kearney. Kearney, I never said that right. Pony Oregon Express Trail. Trail. Oregon Trail. I know, I'm coming to it. Look at this. Oregon Trail, we are at the con conflu confluence of all of them. Overland Stage, California Trail. I need to look and see if they have this Junior Ranger badge. I can't remember if they do or not. The Oat, I can't know how to say that either. Daddy, how do you say O-T-O-E, Indian Tribe? Oto, Missouri Trail, and then the Founders. Oh my goodness. What a fun place. We kind of had to drive out of the middle of nowhere. It was a little bit scary, but <laughs> we made it. Okay, so back to the map. This is where we are, and you can see all the trails like kind of go along the same route. So we're driving on all of those, and then you get out here, and they all kind of start going their separate ways, ways to wherever they were supposed die. to end up. Mary's so hot. And we're not only in Kansas, y'all. We hadn't even gotten to the dirty south. He's going to die. We just looked on the map, and I think we get to take the Oto, Missouri, whatever it was called, trail on the way to Oklahoma on tomorrow i don't really know where we're going but yeah let's go see holland graph it's another pony express station we're gonna go there tomorrow i keep forgetting to look at y'all because i don't have my tripod or my little stick thing on here because it doesn't fit in my little bag i got this from amazon um so i keep forgetting to turn around anyway so, oh my gosh um we're gonna go there tomorrow but we thought if we could go see it's probably windy too. See what we could see today. Um, maybe we wouldn't have to go there tomorrow. So we're gonna go check it out. Um, but it's not open until tomorrow. So if you can go in, we'll probably go back. Stay tuned. You have got to be kidding me. This place isn't open. <laughs> we knew the whole time. We just came over to see it. We're coming back in the morning at 10 so we can go inside of it. We just wanted to take a little joy ride. <laughs> So this is the original. This is original, right? Are we right when we say this is original? Yeah, this but is. is it Wednesday? This is eight. But this isn't where it was on the express route. This is it. This is where it was. Where it was, and this is it. That's pretty rare. It is very rare. I hope that we get to go inside of it tomorrow. I think over here is like a visitor center, right, Koi? Oh, here's some signage and plaques and stuff. Oh, yeah, I think that's the visitor center over there. I'm not going to show you too much of this because we're coming back tomorrow. Room tour. <laughs> we are at the Travel Lodge in Marysville because it's the only hotel, um, well, only brand name hotel <laughs> sort of thing. I don't know. It's pretty nice. I mean, we'll give you a little tour. I like this little area where you can put suitcases and stuff. And then I love that it has the sink on the outside. It's got a little fridge and a little microwave and all of that. Hi, Hot Mess Express. I'm about to die of a heat stroke. 
And then, oh no, is this the bathroom? No, where's the bathroom? It, oh, well, it's, how do you get in it? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> y'all, we all need a break, okay? I'm over here trying to find a bobby pin. Daddy's looking for a knife. We're trying to get this door open. It's locked. I walk back over. This thing, the handle on it. So it doesn't open when you go down, but it opens when you go up. Wow. Okay, y'all. Hot Mess Express. I don't even know what's going on with my hair. We're in the hotel. Daddy and Merritt just went to get um, some stuff from the gas station. I am sunburnt and rashy and gross and it's annoying. Um, the boys are over there playing their iPads. Um, there is like a fun little diner here um, that Whoopi is super excited to go to. <laughs> He's not. <laughs> He's not hungry, but the boys are shopping. Um, and they really want ice cream, and I'm assuming that there's like shakes or something at this diner. It's like it's like retro, it like looks like an old diner, so I think it'll be fun. So we'll probably go there in a little bit and check it out. Just get a, like a light supper. Um, so uh, I'd never like I videoed a little bit in the um. What is it even called? Marysville Pony Express Barn. But then, um, I guess they just really don't want video in the bar, in the museum. So I quit videoing. But like what I showed you was just like a little part of the kids' place, which is fine. So I just couldn't show you the rest of it, which was I have some pictures and I could put those in. They said they didn't care if we posted pictures. They just didn't want video. So pictures were fine. So I can put some pictures in here and there. We took one um in the barn. Uh what else did we take? I'm not really sure. <laughs> I took some pictures though. Uh, and so we'll share, share those with you. But um, it was neat. It was really cool to see the original barn that was there um, for the Pony Express. And obviously they housed the horses in. And it was a home station, right daddy? I forget. It was a home station in Marysville. So um, the museum part was just, uh, did you see any actual like memorabilia that was like actually from the Pony Express in the museum or was it all like I think some of the letters were actual were like actual from the Pony Express but I think most of the other things were replicas but it was still really neat to see and they had lots of like um they had like a stagecoach and a real cool covered wagon and um they had like I don't think I took pictures of any of this but they had like um balcony uh, like a balcony in the place that had uh well I think I took a picture maybe I can show you it had like glass windows and you could like see like um I don't know how you explain that day there was like mannequins you could see like how it was back then like what they were doing and things of that nature like a museum would be you get the idea <laughs> how many museums have you been to with me you probably know exactly what this place looked like anyway it was neat and we got to see it and we got I really I really just wanted their picture in front of it was my most important thing because that was like how it looked back then and that was really cool so we got to do all that um what else I don't know we never saw a live black squirrel though that's annoying. Maybe we should go on a black squirrel hunt because I really do want to see one. <laughs> we made it to the diner. We just did our order. I should really show you the outside. The kids think it looks so futuristic. It's so stinking cute. Okay, let me go show them outside. Anybody want to come with me? I guess not. Isn't it like the cutest thing? Maybe y'all all have diners where you live, but we do not. <laughs> That's so cute. Hey, who are those two cute kids and cute whoopee? <laughs> anyway, it's called Penny's Diner in Marysville. Love it. First things first, some milkshakes. Are they good? He's not lactose intolerant today, He's, he decided. <laughs> Poise got strawberry. Come here, got vanilla. No whipped cream and no cherry. Plain Jane. <laughs> Can y'all tell Merritt's tired? Merritt, look at the camera. You look so tired. You're not tired at all? Whoopi, are you tired? Take your glasses off. Are you tired? 
Don't bad. even lie because you fell asleep on that hotel, baby. We were waiting on you. <laughs> you were just resting his eyes. <laughs> Y'all are gonna have to comment below and tell us if you have diners like this where you live because we don't. Whoopi definitely doesn't have, you don't have a diner anywhere near you, even in the big city, is there? I don't think there is. And we definitely don't. It's fun. We like a new experience. <laughs> Always came first, a pancake bigger than his head, yeah, look, uh, uh, eggs, uh, uh, bacon, syrup. Right? Yeah, we need to bless that. that. Uh, oh, that is actually bigger than my It is actually bigger than your hand. Bless it. I got an omelet. The boys will eat all this. Daddy got like a pick three kind of deal with some toast and eggs. We showed you Koi's and Merrick, of course, got another burger because he's our burger kid this week with some amazing fries. We're going to chow down. Okay. Pro mom travel hack. Make sure you book a hotel with the pool so that your children can get all their energy out and don't drive you bananas this time of night. They're being ridiculous. Y'all, that diner was so good and our waitress was so nice and it was such a fun little experience. Um, all right, that's gonna end day one. Um, what are we doing tomorrow? Tomorrow is another Pony Express thing and then we're gonna be traveling a lot and I don't know y'all. You know it's always fun to go on a road trip with us. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. And we will see you in the next one. I gotta go handle some children. Bye y'all.